Sir Tywin Lannister, or Lord, should I say. Indeed. Tell us a little bit about Tywin Lannister, if you can, head of a pretty dysfunctional family. Um, yes, I suppose they are a bit dysfunctional, really. But Tywin himself is a man of principle. There might not be your principles or my principles, but he is a man of principle and he is aware of his position in this feudal society in which Game of Thrones is set. People, a lot of people have described him as a, being a bad guy. I don't, I don't actually see him as a bad guy. He's strong, he's enigmatic, and he doesn't smile very much. But compared to quite a lot of other people in this story, he's, he's, he's quite a good guy, <laughs> really. That's true, actually. There's quite a lot of bad people yeah, in Game of Thrones, sure. isn't there? Yeah. How did you get involved with it? Did the producers have to persuade you? Is it something you knew of and wanted to do? Uh, no, they didn't have to persuade me very much to do it because the writing is really good. You know, in, as an actor, you often have to spend expend a lot of energy trying to make a silk purse out of a pig's ear and Im improve bad writing. Um, but the writing on this is really, really good, as are the production values. So there wasn't a lot of persuasion needed, really. There is a certain leap of faith because all of the series had not been written, you know. They, were, they could just show me a couple of episodes, neither of which I was involved in, and then a storyline for Tywin. So, you know, I agreed to do it on the basis of, the, of what they could show me, but I could see that the quality of the writing was such that if it maintained that quality, then it would be a pretty good thing to be a part of.